Hey, honey. Hi. Yeah, I just left work. Yeah, I'm gonna stop at the market. You need me? Swing. Okay. You got it. I don't know. I guess it depends on how long the line is. Hey, babe, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Matthew McGreevy, a man who looks in the mirror and sees a decent, upstanding citizen. But appearances can be deceiving, and tonight, Matt's about to get a reality check at an intersection known as the Twilight Zone. something to drink or some aspirin. You should have seen the look on his face. I mean, I'm telling you, this guy, he looked, he looked, he was, like, deranged. Baby. And... Well, are you sure he didn't hit you? Oh, I told you. He never touched me. Well, then you must have banged your head in the steering no, wheel. I don't think so. Well, honey, you either hit something or something hit you. Matt, are you telling me everything? Positive. What are you looking at? I'm just glad you're all right. I wonder what happened. I wonder who he was, you know? Oh, he was probably just a carjacker. You don't know that? Well, he was up to no good. Yeah, well, I wish I could be sure. This whole city is just falling apart. It's that lousy mayor, and the police don't do anything. Can I get you some aspirin, or...? I don't need an aspirin, Hillary. I'm sorry, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, Hill. Hey. Yeah. From now on, we're taking the freeway home. Good morning. Why didn't you wake me? Well, sweetie, we were tossing and turning all night. I figured you needed some rest. Oh, God. What's wrong? Oh, I just feel an achy. You think maybe I'm coming down with the flu? But your muscles are in spasm from all that stress last night. Mm. I got a house to show at nine, and don't forget, you're taking the freeway. You promised. that game last night? Uh, no. You don't score, you can't win. I don't know what's so hard. You throw the ball, you catch the ball. These prima donnas get paid millions, and for what? To drop balls? I tell you, man, it was pathetic. 
Yeah, so? What, what do you mean, yes, yeah, so? I was there. So, what's your point? I left the guy there to be killed. I could have done something. Like what? I don't know. I, I mean, for one thing, I could have let him get in my car. Okay, Matt, let me ask you a question. Did you, did you know this guy? Of course not. Okay, so he was a stranger. What's it matter, okay? He was in trouble. Did you know that at the time? I'm not sure what I knew. Exactly. So some some black guy you never saw before in your life comes running out of the darkness and demands to get into your no, car. No, the begging. Demanding begging, what's the difference? He wanted to get into your car. Danny, he was bleeding. Well, better him than you. You know that he was a college professor. I mean, he had three books published. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a real tragedy. But the thing you've got to remember is you've got a wife, a house, a job, a car. What's your point? Man? My point is you get too much riding here to risk it all for some stranger. Look, Matt, the way I look at it, you got two choices. You can sit around feeling guilty, or you can get on with your life. You can do that. Just, just like that, right? Jesus. <sighs> okay. Let me ask you a question. If you'd known this, this guy, Woodrell, was a college professor, would you have helped him out? Okay, what kind of questions? And of course I would. Even though he's black? I'm not a racist. I never said you were. You got nothing to feel guilty about because you, my friend, did nothing wrong. Uh, hey, John, how you doing? Uh, messages, please. Thank you. Hey, Steph. Hey, how you doing? Morning. Uh, hey, it's Mr. relax, all right? It's not as bad as it looks. That can't be good for your skin. You just had a little accident, that's all. With the sun lamp? Sun lamp, what are you talking about? Here. Take a look. Good news is there's no sign of melanoma or abnormalities of any kind. Your skin, I'm happy to say, is disease-free. Okay, then what's going on with me? Nothing as far as I can see. Your melanosome levels are within the norm for a person of mixed race. Mixed race? Mixed. Part Caucasian, part African-American. Yeah. I'm not part African-American. I'm not African-American at all. I showed you the photo on my driver's license. Mr. McGreevy, I'm a dermatologist, not a psychiatrist. You saying I'm... You saying I'm crazy now? Is that, is that... I'm saying that melanin levels do not increase radically overnight. Skin pigmentation is determined genetically. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what's going on here, but let me tell you something. I know who I am, okay? And I know who my parents are. You know what? You can help me. Please. Right here. Reggie! Reggie, calm down. Hey! Where are you going? Hey, you! Hold it right there! 
right there! I got a gun, man! Tank is not what you think! I'm Matt McGreevy! Get down! I'll shoot! I can prove it! Like a room? Single? That'll do. Okay, it's uh, $125 a night. How would you like to pay? Credit card. Okay, got a picture ID? Yeah, sure. On second thought, I'll pay cash. Yeah, I'm still gonna need to see some ID. With cash? Look, mister, I don't want any trouble. What if we make it an even... Well, that's okay by me. But um, if you want a room, I still have to see picture ID. Just forget it. all the time, don't it? My niece is through talking to you people. I'm not a reporter. John. No, I'm not who you think. I don't understand. I, I was at the morgue. I identified your body. I'm not John Woodrow. Then who in the hell are you? My name's Matt McGreevy. It's the damnedest thing. You look just like him. Is Mrs. Woodrow home? Why? I need to speak with her. I was there when her husband was attacked. You see? Matthew McGreevy. What kind of crap is this? This is a white man. This is me! At least up until today. Mister, you better tell me what the hell's going on here. I'm trying to! Keep your voice down. I need to speak with Mrs. Woodrow. You keep her out of this, you hear me? But she may be the only one that can help me. Help you? Help you how? Help change me back. Man, you got about five seconds to get off this porch or I'm calling the police. No, wait! You're gonna listen to me! John Woodrum came running up to my car asking for help. Instead, I drove away. That's when it started. What started? I started changing. I've been thinking that if I could only make her understand that I'm not... A a bad guy. I'm not an evil person. Maybe if she knew that, she could forgive me. Maybe 
everything could go back to normal. I made a mistake. If I'd have known he was a professor, I... please, just let me speak to her. But you gotta tell me something first, because now you got me curious. Okay. Would I make the cut or not? That's not what I meant, sir. That it happened so fast. I got scared, that's all. That's the only reason I drove away. Is it? Claire, don't come out here, baby. Mrs. Woodrow. It's okay, Thomas. I heard the whole thing. Oh, my God. Claire. It's as if he was standing right here before me. I don't mean to bother you, Mrs. Woodrow. I just have one question I'd like you to answer for me. Anything. If my husband had been a white man, would you have helped him? I'm sorry, mister. There's nothing I can do for you. Please, you gotta help me. Please, I... Listen, I'm not looking for any trouble. Guess what? Found some anyway. Because all I could think was, what if it were me? The old saying goes, if you don't know a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Matt McGreevy went one better. He got to walk in another man's skin. A simple lesson compassion, courtesy of the Twilight Zone.